Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rangadeshwar Rao. We have another concept to learn in chemical equilibrium chapter that is that is relation between that is relation between equilibrium constants and total pressures of the reactions right relation between equilibrium constants and total pressures of the reactions right so to understand the relation between equilibrium constants and total pressures um, let us consider uh, let us consider two reactions that is a gives rise to n moles of b and p gives rise to q plus r right let us consider the two reversible reactions that is a gives rise to a establishes equilibrium with the b and p establishes equilibrium with the q and r and assume that uh, and assume that uh, for these two reactions uh, degree of dissociation is the same the degree of dissociation is same at equilibrium the degree of dissociation is same for these two reactions right okay so let us consider let us start consider p1 be the total pressure p1 be the total pressure at which this reaction takes place and p2 be the total pressure at which this reaction takes place that is p1 be the pressure and at which uh, this reaction the, uh, this equilibrium is established and p2 be the total pressure at which this equilibrium is established and kp1 this is the par, uh, total pressure of this reaction is p1 and whose equilibrium constant kp1 if uh, uh, if, if uh, if we mention the total pressure then the equilibrium constant should be expressed in uh, partial pressures that is uh, uh, that is pressures so the equilibrium constant for this reaction is kp1 and the equilibrium constant for this reaction is kp2 all right for example if this kp1 is comes out to be x let us take uh, the equilibrium constant value is uh, uh, x if we take that equilibrium constant uh, kp1 is equal to x and if you take uh, equilibrium constant kp2 is y so what uh, what we uh, we should establish a relation between uh, equilibrium constants and total pressures of the reactions right so there exists a relationship between equilibrium constants and total pressures of the reactions uh, which is given by kp1 by kp2 let us take the ratio of uh, these two equilibrium constants kp1 by kp2 and it is found to be and let us take uh, already we uh, we took that kp1 value is x and we took uh, kp2 value is y and these equilibrium constants are in relation with the um, total pressures of the reactions p1 by p2 okay so there exists a relation between equilibrium constants and total pressures by the relation n power n n power n n power n p1 by p2 you just you just take this uh, uh, n moles and uh, you apply a power 
of n then you write p 1 by p 2. So, this is the relation between uh, k p 1 that is equilibrium constants k p 1 and k p 2 and total pressures uh, the relation between uh, total pressures of the reactions is uh, p 1 by p 2. This is the relation between uh, equilibrium constants and uh, total pressures of the reactions. Okay? So, let us go for problem simple problem. Okay. So, the problem is the equilibrium constants k p 1 and k p 2 for the reactions a gives rise to 2 b and p gives rise to q plus r respectively are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. If the degree of dissociation of a and p are equal then the ratio of the total pressures at equilibrium is ok. So, they ask to calculate the ratio of total pressures at equilibrium ok. So, what are the reactions given A what are the equilibrium sir, that are given in the problem A gives rise to 2 B this is the one equilibrium and the equilibrium constant of this reaction is K P 1 right and uh, um, another equilibrium is p gives rise to q plus r and the whose equilibrium constant is k p 2 ok and k p 1 and k p 2 are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Let us take the ratio of k p 1 and k p 2, k p 1 and k p 2 the ratio between k p 1 and k p 2 is given by 2 by 3 that is 2 is to 3 2 by 3 and they ask to calculate the uh, and if the degree of dissociation of A and P this is A and P at equilibrium is the same the degree of dissociation at equilibrium the degree of dissociation of A and P are same that is alpha is the same degree of dissociation is same then they ask to calculate the ratio of total pressures at equilibrium and we know the relation that is a relation between total pressures and equilibrium constants k p 1 by k p 2 is equal to uh, n power n p 1 by p 2. So, this is the relation that we have. So, this is the n, n is the uh, number of moles of uh, 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 moles uh, the stoichiometric coefficients of uh, uh, products in any of the reaction, any any of the reaction. So, k p 1 and k p 2 is given by 2 by 3 and uh, here the uh, stoichiometric coefficient for the first equilibrium is 2. So, 2 square and p 1 by p 2 because P1 is the total pressure of this reaction and P2 is the total pressure of the P2 reaction. That is why we took a KP1 equilibrium constant for this reaction is KP1 and equilibrium constant uh, uh, for this reaction is uh, KP2 for this equilibrium uh, is KP2. That means, this reaction is uh, this equilibrium is established at uh, pressure P1 and this equilibrium is established, established at pressure P2. Right? So, k p 1 by k p 2 is equal to 2 by 3 and so next step uh, 2 by 3 is equal to uh, 2 square that is uh, 4 p 1 by p 2. Okay? So, uh, p 1 by p 2 is equal to 2 by 3 into 4 that is uh, 2 that is uh, p 1 by p 2 is equal to 3 to 6 that is 1 by 6. So, the total the ratio of total pressures are uh, the 1 is to 6 1 is to 6 ok. This is the uh, very uh, important one uh, um, the, this type of problems are uh, used to ask in uh, neat exams ok. And problem 2 is uh, at some temperature and under a pressure of 4 atmosphere PCl5 is 10 percent dissociated then calculate the pressure at which 
PCL5 will be 20 percent dissociated and assume the temperatures remaining same ok. So, what they given at some temperature and under a pressure of 4 atmosphere PCL5 is 10 percent dissociated ok. When PCL5 is uh, dissociated when PCL5 is dissociated that establishes a equilibrium we know that that establishes a equilibrium with the PCL3 and Cl2 when PCL5 is dissociated PCL5 is a gas if it is dissociated it establishes a equilibrium with the PCL3 gas and Cl2 gas right. So, this is the equilibrium established right. So, and a PCL5 is 10 percent dissociated forget about the dissociation let us take a initial moles initial is a 1 mole of PCL5 and a, a reaction not at a, um, before the equilibrium established uh, these the moles of uh, PCL3 and Cl2 are 0 and at equilibrium at equilibrium. Uh, alpha D alpha is the degree of dissociation alpha amount alpha is dissociated and this alpha is uh, uh, and alpha moles of uh, uh, PCL3 and alpha moles of Cl2 are formed right. So, uh, how can we write the equilibrium constant uh, Kp is equal to partial pressure of PCL3 because all these are gases that is why we, is, uh, we, uh, we should write uh, uh, equilibrium constant in partial pressure. So, partial pressure of PCL3 and partial pressure of Cl2 by partial pressure of uh, PCL5. Okay. How can we calculate the partial pressures? We have a formula for partial pressure. Partial pressure of any gas is equal to mole fraction of that gas into total pressure. Okay. Mole fraction of the mole fraction of that gas into total pressure. Okay, let us say P is the total pressure of the reaction. Okay. So, uh, here uh, PCL3. Okay. So, we, we need to for calculate the mole fraction, we should know the number of uh, uh, mo total moles at equilibrium. So, total moles at equilibrium, total moles at equilibrium is uh, you just add the number of moles of PCL5 and PCL3 and Cl2 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha 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 get cancelled 1 plus alpha. So, total number of moles is 1 plus alpha at equilibrium right. Now, uh, to get the equilibrium constant value we should uh, know the partial pressure partial pressure of PCL3 partial pressure of uh, PCL3 partial pressure of uh, PCL3 is equal to mole fraction into mole fraction mole fraction into total pressure mole fraction how can we get the mole fraction mole fraction is a uh, uh, number of moles of that gas by total moles that is alpha number of moles of the PCL3 is alpha and total moles at equilibrium is 1 plus alpha and pressure is let us say total pressure is P and partial pressure of Cl2 is is also same ok alpha is the moles of uh, uh, Cl2 gas and total moles is 1 plus alpha and partial total pressure is P and partial pressure of PCL5 is uh, mole fraction into total pressure mole fraction how can we write the mole fraction number of moles of PCL5 by total number of moles number of moles of PCL5 at equilibrium 1 minus alpha and total moles at equilibrium 1 plus alpha into pressure total pressure ok. If we substitute this values in, uh, in this equation uh, K p is equal to uh, partial pressure of PCL 3 alpha by 1 plus alpha into p and alpha 1 plus alpha into p and um, PCL 5 partial pressure of PCL 5 is a 1 minus alpha by 1 plus alpha into p ok. Uh, this p this p get cancelled and 1 plus alpha and this 1 plus alpha get cancelled and we get uh, alpha square p by 
1 minus alpha into 1 plus alpha, 1 minus alpha into 1 plus alpha, right. So, we can write this uh, We can write this Kp is equal to Kp is equal to uh, alpha square p. We can write a minus b into a plus b. That is a square one square minus b square one minus alpha square. Okay. So this is the equilibrium constant Kp is equal to alpha square p one minus alpha square. Okay. So uh, they uh, what is uh, what is given in the problem PCL5 is 10 percent dissociated, PCL5 is 10 percent dissociated. Then calculate the total pressure at which uh, uh, PCL5 will be 20 percent. Okay, let us take uh, uh, pressure is uh, uh, pressure is 4 atmosphere uh, that is under a pressure of 4 atmosphere that is uh, P is 4 atmosphere at 4 atmosphere alpha is uh, 10 percent, 10 percent means 10 by 100 that is uh, 0 0.1. Okay, let us calculate the equilibrium constant, uh, then we go for uh, 20 percent of dissociation. Okay, so uh, Kp is equal to alpha is 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 and total pressure is 4 by 1 minus alpha is 0 0.1 into 0 0.1. Okay, 1, 0 0.1 means 1 by 10 and 0 0.1 is 1 by 10. So, 1 by 10 into 1 by 10 into 4 minus uh, this is also 1 by 10 into 1 by 10 that is 1 by 100, 1 by 100 means 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 1 by 10, 1 by 10 that is uh, 4 by 100 that is uh, which is uh, uh, 0 0.04 and 1 minus 0 0.01 min means 0 0.99, 1 minus 0 0.01 that is 0 0.09 and we can write it as 4 by 99, 4 by 99 that uh, which comes out to be 4 by uh, 99, 4 by 99 is almost, we can take it is almost 4 by 100 uh, that is 0 0.04 that is 0 0.04 okay 0 0.04 okay now uh, we calculated the kp value that is kp is equilibrium constant kp is 0 0.04 now uh, they ask you to calculate the uh, calculate the pressure at which pcl5 will be 20% pcl5 will be 20 percent. So, again we, sh we should take the equation Kp is equal to alpha square P 1 minus alpha square. Already we calculated the Kp value at pressure 4 atmosphere. Okay. They ask to calculate the, they ask to calculate the, if uh, alpha is 20 percent and we already we know the Kp value the pressure at which PCL5 20 percent is they ask to calculate the pressure pressure uh, they ask to calculate the pressure at which PCL5 will be 20 percent that is uh, alpha is 20 percent 20 percent means that is 20 by 100 that is uh, 0 0.2 0 0.2 so Kp is equal to so, Kp is equal to alpha square that is uh, uh, 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 P that should be calculated and 1 by, uh, by 1 minus alpha square that is 0 0.2 into 0 0.2. Already we calculate the Kp value that is 0 0.04. 0 0.2 0 0.2 so 2 by 10 2 by 10 that is uh, 0 0.2 can be written as 2 by 10 and 2 by 10 that is uh, 4 by 100 that is 4 by 100 p minus 1 minus uh, this, is, this is also uh, 0 0.2 2 by 10 2 by 10 that is uh, 4 by 100 that is 4 by 100 and we can write it as 4 by 100 is nothing but 0 0.04 into p minus uh, by 1 minus 4 by 100 that is 0 0.04 right 
and this is 0 0.04 this is 0 0.04 okay and 0 0.04 so if we subtract 1 minus 0 0.04 that comes out to be uh, 0 0.96 right so 0 0.04 is equal to 0 0.04 into p by uh, 0 0.96 right so this 0 0.4 this 0 0.4 get cancelled so p by uh, therefore p is equal to p is equal to 0 0.96 atmosphere okay so in this way if we know the degree of dissociation at a particular uh, pressure and from that uh, uh, known pressure we can ca uh, we should calculate the equilibrium constant then we go for we go for uh, then we are able to calculate the pressure at which uh, 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 given uh, percentage of dissociation okay i hope uh, you all understood this problems and uh, uh, this uh, uh, these problems will help you to solve uh, more complicated problems thank you thank you for watching